Some sad news to report here as Bread for the World founder Art Simon has passed away at the age of 93 years old. We're going to get into all the details about the life this man lived and his true advocacy to help those who are hungry in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you in the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for somebody like me, well, that's kind of my only option. Art Simon, a tremendous full life that he lived, somebody who was dedicated to solving the problem of hunger. And he formed back in the mid 1970s, the anti-hunger advocacy group, Bread for the World. Uh, it is such a great name. You know, I always like the name of that group just because it's really what it's all about. But it went beyond just, you know, addressing hunger as a whole, but the economical and the political issues that surround hunger as a whole. And you can go all the way back to his 1973 book when Art Simon put it out, Bread for the World. Uh, that book has impacted the lives of so many around the world who read that, who saw Art's vision, and really wanted to be part of what has now just become, you know, a, a tremendous global project. And, you know, Art Simon, he, he served as president of Bread of the World for about 16 years, but he remained active all the while, uh, still doing work with the group. In fact, even if you know, we can go back to 2019, uh, his book, Silence Can Kill, you know, he was still very active, uh, even, you know, into his later years. And, you know, this book was, you know, basically telling people to get involved. And he always encouraged people to, you know, write your, you know, your local congressman and your congresswoman and, you know, tell them about the problem of hunger as a whole and that they need to pass legislation to help out with this. So he was very active. Uh, but the news came out on Tuesday, November 14th. This was put out by Bread for the World that Art had passed away at his Maryland home. They say that he died of natural causes. Um, they're very saddened by this loss as, again, this is somebody who really spearheaded this whole entire movement. And all of those who, you know, partnered up with Art along the years that are still running Bread for the World today know the impact that he has made. And his legacy will not be forgotten, his time here on this earth. Uh, a truly tremendous individual. Uh, and again, you know, I'll, I'll put some more information on Art in the description down below. Uh, if you'd like to read up some more about him and, and his work. I, I encourage anybody to, you know, if, if you have been impacted by Bread for the World, if you've worked for them, you know, in the past or currently, and you would like to offer up any thoughts or comments on Art Simon, I encourage you to do so in the comment section. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach, of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines and keep you guys up to speed on everything else going on. I do it because yes, we are in the last days, really the final hours and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. It means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. Then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Our prayers going out to the entire family of Art Simon, everybody at Bread for the World, for God to be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.